Greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me, Kemzit. We're going to be continuing on with the Vixers and Vanquished campaign. And today we will be moving on to a more colder place around Russia and Crimea with Mstislav the Bold. In the year 1203 and 1223, uh, Mstislav's victories over the Cumans have brought him fame and a marriage to the daughter of the Cuman warlord Korchan. His relatives now seek his help to further their own ambitions. Can Mstislav unite the warring princes of Rus before an apocalyptic danger arrive from the east? That is what we shall see with. Mr. Slav surveyed the noisy and smoke-filled hall crowded with his distant relatives. He wondered if he would be safer pursuing the Cumans across the steppe than staying in that room. At least the Cumans would have the decency to stab him when he was looking. Ostensibly, the crowd had come to congratulate him on his many victories and his marriage to the daughter of the Cuman warlord, Kotian. But Mr. Slav knew that though he was the man of the hour, that fame would come with expectations, very expensive expectations. His uncle, also named Mstislav, came to him, bowing in a way that showed his discomfort of being lesser status than his young nephew, at least for the moment. Grabbing his arm, and with a knowing nod, he reminded his nephew that the treacherous Vesevolod the Red still ruled in Kiev. Of course, the elder continued, a good nephew would use his great fame to restore his generous uncle to power in that city. The younger Mstislav nodded. Then came two sons of Vsevolod the Big Nest, a prince whose power and realm had been large, but not large enough for his eight sons. His ambitious progeny had been causing headaches across all of Rus for many years. Now these two, Yaroslav and Konstantin, came asking for help to depose their own brothers from two northern principalities. Mstislav nodded again. Hours later, as the celebration ended, he glanced over to his wife, sheepishly smiling at the nobleman paying her a bit too much attention. What did this Cuman Khan's daughter know of the politics of the Rus? Her people were simple. In the eastern steppe, the rules were uncomplicated. The strong ruled and the weak perished. And yet, Mr. Slav wondered, why had a steppe people like the Cumans not yet demolished the squabbling and divided Rus? But it was only a momentary thought. Mr. Slav had more pressing matters. He had made many promises tonight. Exactly. Now, anyway, defeat the troublesome Druzhina hints. You begin at, with a population limit of 25 that increases as you capture villages and fortified camps. A prince leaves and a management to subordin subordinates. Your villages are already assigned to their task, so you can concrete on leading troops into battle. Uh, each Rus ally provides a different civilization, unique technologies, and a retinue of unique units. Consider these rewards when planning to attack when who to attack first. Each allied human tribe provides five free elite Kipchaks as the at the castle. You can build a large Kipchak army. Find a fight with your bogatir. They become powerful heroes. Use the terrain to your advantage. River crossing and for forest pass make good blocking positions. If your city falls, fight on the Rus princes have defeated many nomads by withdrawing to friendly cities and wearing down invaders. Scouts. The scouts report Mr. Slav the Bold has a central position in Smolensk. Surrounded by rival princedoms, by defeating his rivals and placing his own allies on the throne of these princedoms, princedoms he will lead a powerful coalition of Rus princes. Visible the Red to Red rules Kiev. Just to the south, across the Dnieper River, the city is a shadow of its earlier might, having been conquered and sacked many times over the centuries. Nonetheless, it is positioned as the historical capital of Rus, attracts many boyars to serve whoever rules it. 
Sivatoslav Vizvolodovich, three green, has been elected by the Novgorod Council to be prince of the northern city. The Novgorodians have a strong militia and effective town defenses. The city cavalries are skilled in fighting heavily armored warriors such as boyars and ins are inspired to battle by the holy re relics housed in the churches around Novgorod. Svevatol's brother Yuri for Yellow commands Vladimir, a princedom that defends the northern east approaches to the Rus lands with resilient warriors fighting for fortified creep posts. The princedom is like fighters, well protected and unwilling to give up. The young Daniel Romanovich uh, 5 Sion rules Helich in the southwest, a princedom influenced by Polish culture on his border. The plains around Halych support rich agriculture and pastures to support large cavalry armies. The Princeton's infantry fight with cleaving hammers. Finally, the Cumans, Grey, a nomadic people from the southern fridges who have always been a nuisance to the princes of Rus. There are rumors of great invasions for the east, however, that have weakened the Cumans' heartland and forced the people to flee west. What could cause such a disturbance? is a not yon yet. Prince Mstislav, your relative's men are so filled with drink that they are causing a ruckus in the farmlands outside the walls. They must be punished. Bastards. So we have Drogina. Boyars, where are my bogatere? Bastards. Bloody way to end a wedding night. But there is now much to do. Two sons of Vesevolod the Big Nest have asked you to depose their own brothers in Novgorod and Vladimir. Your uncle lays claim to Kiev, and you have unfinished business with your own rival, Prince Danilo of Halic. Prepare the Drugina, gather grain for the campaign, and raise the banners of war. Hmm. I'll need to scout around then, let's look around. There are many villages, monasteries and fortified camps that can be captured by clearing them of enemies. Capturing them will provide resources, relics, military buildings and other benefits. We're gonna need to capture territories of course, but it's not easy. We're gonna need to make a lot of bugatere. Let's increase the running and all. Too bad that I cannot control them. There's also pigs there, I cannot even press them. Drugina are loyal retainers who guard their prince's territory. Armed with shield and axe, they can be trained from towers. Hmm. But then, still, wait. Find and fight with your bugger here. I'll definitely try to find them, then misses out the bold. Let's heal them because we currently do not have any other military right now. We will create more bogat here. How about we just go to the front and take down those little settlements there? Could gain some archers as well. Who are they? Hello. It would be wasteful to destroy lands your ally will soon rule. Instead, target your enemy's castles. If a castle is sufficiently damaged, the principality will surrender. These are the Cubans that are running away. 
Interesting. Once we have some more boyards, we'll be fine. Could get some more relics and more people inside here. Let's get at them towards the side. And wait, and then these humans don't run away. Come back. If we can take down their towns, we'll be fine. The first target will be the Visivold of the Red of Kiev, because this is the first promise that I made at that wedding night. That's it. We need to be careful with our manpower here. Let's go. I don't want to upgrade my men even more. Capturing villages like this one will help supply your army and grow your manpower. That's good. I'm gonna need siege weapons too, by the way. For now, let's make a few rams. In the meantime, let's just also look around over here for some more men. And once we capture this place, we can go up. Up, up, up. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna first get my men more stronger here. Let's go. Too bad I've not really found any other bugged hit. Come on. We are healing them nicely. There we go. With more attack. Oh shit. Fall back. The enemies here. The bees. The demon siege. Hate it. I assume I don't need to destroy them, right? Or oh, no. Shit, lost one man. Warriors from the surrounding countryside muster at camps like this one to defend Rus from marauding nomads. Humans have been arriving from the east, claiming to be fleeing from a great and ruthless enemy. Their warriors pledge to serve you if you give them food to feed their families. Humans cows are trying to kill Sure, that's good. We've already found yet another cow. Where's the rest? I'm sure if I capture this guy first, we'll be fine. Let's go that way, really. is coming forward for me. If I can, I will be able to gather more men. I don't want to move them around. And I don't have enough food to give the humans yet. 
how do I go up there? Oh shit, here you are. Hello. The Cumans are asking for food. They say they were forced to leave their livestock behind, so great was the threat from the east. Well, I'm sorry, but I really cannot give you any food right now, my friend. Just use my dude here. I'll be able to give another go with these men soon. In the meantime, let's just scout around. We'll give them some food soon. Let's already pass on there. Let's see what we can find. And once again, I'll give the 500 food towards them. Hello, humans. Even capture these lands, maybe. Here. The Cumans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. That's good. We have got one allied human tribe, that's good. Seems they are going to be very happy about this. These are more human chiefs here, hello. The stories the humans tell do not seem believable. They claim that a great horde has risen from the far east and has already conquered many distant empires. It may be wise to take some precautions. Let's increase the range attacks too. In the meantime, we will move around with our human units. All these units go there. There's so many humans already here. lose any unit, I'm not gonna allow it. Screw you guys, go away. And let's continue looking around for more land and units. And let's go. Because Kiev needs to be ours. Bogata is a great hero destined to be sung of in the epic poems of Rus. Find Bogata like this one and use them in battle. The more victories a Bogata achieves, the more his legend will grow. 
We shall certainly use him. Anyway, uh, let's give some more food to the humans. Here you are. The humans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. So there's two tribes that have now allied with the May, which is good. And we've now reached the population gap, that's not good. First let's start attacking this little place like this. Wait, is this all? Oh wait, yeah, because we have not really been able to get down here. You know what, let's just go around a bit. Start attacking here like this, so it can be destroyed more quickly compared to one man. And right away we charge him. No. Bastards. The earth has been victim to many conquests and sackings, but remains the capital of Rus in the hearts of all loyal Druzhina. If the Sevalod the Red can be deposed, your uncle will be a powerful ally from this city. Bastards! Now if we can destroy this castle a little, we'll be fine. Wonderful. We have gained a little bit more power. The several of the red flees and your uncle Mstislav has taken control of Kiev. You can now use the city's university. A little grain and meat is a small price to pay for the support of human tribes. They will be a powerful army under your command. For certain. The issue is I don't have enough, you know, buildings and all that right now. Um, let's upgrade these researches and all. We're gonna need more men. Let's capture these little places too so we can get more population. We're gonna need it. And I'm gonna be also give some more money food right I mean food right now to oh shit, that was the other faction. Damn it! Mistake. <laughs> Not good. Either way, it's alright. Come on. Join me, my friends. Also, I'm just gonna be using these humans also to look around over here. Let's see. Most of them are other humans from there, and we can use these men to go around here. Hmm. Let's increase their defenses. Let's see if we can find some more humans around us. They should be happy. We have already got two tribes allied to us, which is good. But we're gonna definitely need more allies for sure. The more we have, the better we shall be. Yeah, now the Drusian has been found. Let's go. We're gonna attack them. Alright, nice. We found yet another relic. We've not really lost too much health right now, but I'm gonna definitely need a lot more men here too to fight. Come on, let's go. Come 
Want to stick around even more. Here we now give the right person the food. The humans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. Let's go. More food will come. More people should be sent there. I'll press on that way, there's nothing else here. Too bad for the enemy, but good for us. And I'll be starting to send some more Boyars that way. There! Nice. I still find it surprisingly weird that we are very slow at healing and all. Let's make another priest then. We have found some more humans here. Three of the tribes are already allied to us, which is good. And um, we might want to make more of these units here before we are able to do so. And with more boyars, we're going to be more stronger. Let's send some more priests this way. Send them to fight here. Let's go. More humans arrived, telling of entire armies surrounded and vanquished, and whole tribes sold into slavery. As fierce as the humans are, whatever has driven them to flee must be spawned from hell itself. The humans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. Novgorod has been a free city since the days of Vladimir the Great. Svatyoslav Sevolodovich has the support of the city's militia, giving him superior spearmen and skirmishers. His cavalry is also well suited to fighting armored boyars. I've lost two of my boyars already, damn it. I, I kind of want to restart this, actually. Your people are distressed by the arrival of so many humans. They are urging I'm just going to do the Yeah, uh, hold on, let's do it. Because this is annoying. I don't want to lose my boyars. I mean, Bogatir. Let's go. Prince Mistislav, your relatives' men are so filled with drink that they are causing a ruckus in the farmlands outside the walls. They must be punished. Let's go. Too bad. There. Daybreak. What a bloody way to end a wedding night. But there is now much to do. Two sons of Vesevolod the Big Nest have asked you to depose their own brothers in Novgorod and Vladimir. Your uncle lays claim to Kiev, and you have unfinished business with your own rival, 
Prince Danilo of Halic. Prepare the Drugina, gather grain for the campaign, and raise the banners of war. This is one of the farms, let's go. There are many villages, monasteries, and fortified camps that can be captured by clearing them of enemies. Capturing them will provide resources, relics, military buildings, and other benefits. Oh shit, let's go back. We don't want to lose many men here. We cannot afford to lose any men right now. Drugina are loyal retainers who guard their prince's territory. Armed with shield and axe, they can be trained from towers. Kinda annoying that he was chasing my men here. Fine, here, die then. I lost one guy and another joined his place. Now let's go, capture this. Capturing villages like this one will help supply your army and grow your manpower. That's what we're after. It would be wasteful to destroy lands your ally will soon rule. Instead, target your enemy's castles. If a castle is sufficiently damaged, the principality will surrender. <laughs> No, no. Wonderful. Warriors from the surrounding countryside muster at camps like this one to defend Rus from marauding nomads. Mm-hmm. That's good. And I'm gonna need more attack because we need to be more powerful. And since we now have some more relics that we can capture, we should be fine. Let's first heal our men quickly while we are getting more reinforcements. We've done good so far and we've not lost many men. Uh, we can also start creating some rams here, because that is what we need. There's already two villages in my hands, a military base. And that is it for now. We're creating more warriors. Well done. We're gonna need all of you. How do these Drogina costs? Okay, that's quite. you know, something. Okay, that's enough. We're gonna press on forward. 
There. There. We've captured yet another unit, that's good. It is something that I'm gonna be trying to do from now on instead of killing them all. Now let's come over here, kill them. Kill them then. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Humans have been arriving from the east, claiming to be fleeing from a great and ruthless enemy. Their warriors pledge to serve you if you give them food to feed their families. I'm gonna capture that holy place there up north, so we can gain some more resources and all. We'll soon enough be gathering to take. A Bogata is a great hero destined to be sung of in the epic poems of Rus. Find Bogata like this one and use them in battle. The more victories a Bogata achieves, the more his legend will grow. Mm -hmm. Dare you to attack me? Humans, enjoy. The humans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. That's good. Let's go. Time for an attack. Need to conquer these lands now. The humans are asking for food. They say they were forced to leave their livestock behind, so great was the threat from the east. This is supposed to be it. Where is the rest of their armies? What? Oh, there they are. Hello. Since your ancestors discarded their pagan ways, monasteries like this one have been a focus of Rus life and enrich a prince's lands. We're gonna move these relics elsewhere, just to be sure, and uh, make sure that our will defend it, we're gonna be making more. So we have, in total, four, five, six priests now, soon. In the meantime, I'm just gonna continue on. We're gonna be trying to take over this little place too. Or else we can just go that way. I wanna actually start taking my uncle here. But I can't, not yet. We're gonna need to cross that area, let's go. To grab more villages. And we're gonna give the humans some more food again. Here. The humans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. Nice. Now that we have more humans in our lands joining us, we'll be fine. Wonderful. More relics will be gathered and more gold will arrive. Which is something I wish. Nice. Let's look around even more. These humans will stay away from the fight for now while we try to find some more land. More people. Kill them. Let's go back here. All reinforcements comes around. We'll be fine. We'll increase the attacks. Let's go. And kill them.
That's it. The stories the humans tell do not seem believable. They claim that a great horde has risen from the Far East and has already conquered many distant empires. It may be wise to take some precautions. We shall, my friend, we shall. We have already gathered some large host here. The issue is we don't have much men yet. Uh, I'll start moving these men towards this position. Five. So we'll be fine. Nice, let's go. We'll search around and uh, gather these last bit of land and make ourselves stronger. Let's go. Don't die. Hold on. We have strengthened our men. Let's make the healing more stronger and quicker. In the meantime, we're gonna prepare some nice more food here to start on to give it to our friends, the humans. are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle so three more tribes have joined my cause which is good stick together my friend what are you doing With even more camps under my control, we'll be able to press on forward. Let's start going down to Kiev and all. I'll be definitely safe for sure, hopefully. Let's end there. And I'll give my men some more armor. I mean, someone's also give this... Wait, what is this? Yeah, right. I'm not gonna allow that. If a group... Sure. Yeah, here. This is what I want. Oh, shit. Here they are. That's it. Let's go. Ooh, nice a relic. Go. Grab it and bring it back home. And however, you guys come here. The ground, more human tribes are running away. This really makes me wonder already who it is, but I can already make a nice guess over here. And now that we have more men, we'll be fine, let's go. Grab more resources here. are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle well done we already have 20 humans on our side which is really good and we're gonna be able to upgrade them with this and we've also advanced our imperial age which is also really nice 
this? A little grain and meat is a small price to pay for the support of human tribes. They will be a powerful army under your command. This way now, let's look around. See what we can find over here. Oh, we found a nice little army here. Good, let's go. We're not gonna kill the people. Oh shit, of course. Kiev has been victim to many conquests and sackings, but remains the capital of Rus in the hearts of all loyal Druzhina. If the Sevalod the Red can be deposed, your uncle will be a powerful ally from this city. <laughs> Right. Let's bring them there. In the meantime, we're gonna scout around even more. And I do wanna upgrade my Dragina here even more in, before I'm gonna be giving anything else to the people there. Most conversion range. Nice range. I mean, what the fuck? Let's go. Don't destroy it entirely. No. Oh, great, no shit. Annoying catapult. You guys are done for, seriously. This shoe. Oh, great. Fall back. How can he just attack me from. Oh my god, well, fine. Whatever. Let's just give 50 food again. The Cumans are thankful. Pledged to serve you in battle. The Cumans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. The Sevilla of the Red flees, and your uncle Mstislav has taken control of Kiev. You can now use the city's university. Need. Now we're gonna move on towards this point. Let's go. Too bad we don't have more land right now. Sky now, he's in our next target. Join us, please. My uncle will gladly help me for sure, I think. We can now even hire trebuchets. 
Might be a More good idea. humans arrive, telling of entire armies surrounded and banked. Whole tribes sold into slavery. As fierce as the humans are, whatever has driven them to flee must be spawned from hell itself. The humans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. I'm just gonna make these trebuchets instead. Let's go. The young prince Danilo Romanovich rules Halec on the borders with Poland and Hungary. His lands are rich in agriculture and provide pastures for large cavalry armies. Don't go in. Shit, the bastard. Send forward our men here. Oh god, here they come. Your people are distressed by the arrival of so many humans. They are urging action to be taken against them. Whatever enemy is in the distant east is less threatening than the hordes already at your gates. Attack the humans or ignore the demands from your people. Attacking will cause you to lose all human allied tribes, but will grow your support from your people. Receive plus 25 population. Novgorod has been a free city since the days of Vladimir the Great. Svatyoslav Sevolodovich has the support of the city's militia, giving him superior spearmen and skirmishes. His cavalry is also well suited to fighting armored boyars. I am getting two more of these guys here. I'm not gonna leave my human allies. Get out of the way here. Just hold out. The humans are thankful. Pledged to serve you in battle. The humans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. Now my ally is now coming with me too, which is good. Danilo of Halic surrenders to you and pledges that he will be a faithful ally. There is no reason to disbelieve the young prince. So I can release a nicer, cheaper, and like ever can do the term for the issue. That's good. And now we've also gained more ally, which should be good. Let's go. Increase our strength. And make another more tragedy here. Let's go. Let's use our warriors to go forward and try to get some more points because we are in desperate need of more population room. And the only way to do that is just taking these men here.
The Cumans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. The Teutonic Knights say the swamps beyond are plagued by pagan devils. If you smash the pagan shrines, you will show yourself a friend of the Order. We'll help them soon, don't worry. How come we don't have it right now? What the hell? Oh, there. These Varangians have come from the north to serve in Constantinople. They ask that you show them the way south. They may also fight for you for a time, but their future lies with the Emperor. Fine, fine. How dare you to attack my land here? Who are they? What the hell? What are you guys doing? Attacking my lands? I killed this man. Wait, what? Oh. These guys again. Now this town is mine too. Uh, we are leading them towards this position. Which is good, we also kill these guys I guess. Or not, well whatever. We're still gonna need more population, that's the point. And we're gonna head towards our allies now. Our enemies. Kill. Done. Well done. Ah nice, another group of Bogadir which you can capture and we're gonna move that way now. Let's go. Let's go. Also I'm gonna need to research other things like these. No idea why my ally is behaving a little bit dumb. But I'm gonna need more stone. I, I don't have any way to get a stone here. We're gonna also upgrade these buildings here so we can get more powerful. So increase these things here. These are just 
little groups here. Your wife's father, the Cuman warlord Kotian, has arrived, telling horrific stories of a people called Mongols. He says he pledges himself to you for having been so good to his people in this time of need. There. Nice, let's go. Onwards. Let's give some more food to the other people here, the Cumans. The Cumans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. The Cumans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. The Cumans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. The Cumans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. Be gone. Bastard. Vladimir has always defended the eastern approaches to Rus lands with Krekosts, well-armored infantry, and resilient warriors. Yuri Vsevolodovich will be a challenge to the foes from this well defended country. The Northmen who came through your lands before have returned. They say that Constantinople is held by French crusaders. Nonetheless, they plundered much and send you gold based on their number. Yeah, they slaughtered all my own men here, holy damn. With their return, this is quite good, but not entirely. These guys now. I'm gonna need to destroy their shrines too and help them. Herman wins also. Alright. We did kill a large amount of them, so that's good. No! Damn it! Well, whatever. Damn the enemy. Be gone. What are you doing? Over there! Come on! What are you doing? Help me! Oh wait, we cannot make more too bad. I am gonna need to damage their castle, but it's gonna be a little bit challenging. So let us continue on here. These castles soon in my in my um, hands will be fine.
You have deposed Yuri Vsevolodovich and placed his brother Konstantin in control of Vladimir. He will be a useful ally on the eastern frontiers. Now that we've done this, we can move that way and... Well doing so, I'll move my men that way. To grab everything we can and we're gonna need to destroy these shrines as they requested. To do so, we're gonna also need some more priests to help us. Because it would be wise to have them. Can we carry some more relics in here? Yes, we can. Two more. So we're just gonna move our men that way then. Drop them. Grab them and push forward. The humans are thankful and pledge to serve you in battle. The amount of men that we have here is always good. Let us uh, quickly send them towards this position to destroy these shrines if we can find them. Because this means we're gonna have some more allies, I think. Here. Oh, wait. Yeah, there. Be gone. That's it. We've destroyed some of their men already. But what we need to destroy is these shrines, which are not easy to find. It was marked before, but then again we still need to find them all. Bastard. It's supposed to be harder for him to capture my men. Come on, what is this? So, here we go. being attacked. I mean, at least we have killed them, right? Or... I don't know. We can't get more, I guess. Let's just look around. Where are they? Hello? Anyone home? We have captured all, well, not all villages, just these, not. Uh, I'll move then my people here, right? And the extras too. For these men will attack this camp here. Destroy that little shrine here. Let's look around even more here. We've already destroyed one, but we need to destroy four. So let's see where else we can find them. We are already being attacked again. Let's send some men there to attack them and finish them off. This bridge is destroyed for some reason. I'm 
must be more. Where are they? Perhaps here? Oh, lol. That's just the last camp for you guys. No! The third shrine is here and we're destroying it. Let's look around more. And that means the end of the people there, good. And then we can just continue on to fight off the rest of the enemy, for that is what we need to do. We're gonna destroy our fellow kin. We have found all the book of here, I think. Teutonic knights say that you flirt with heresy, but that you also showed devotion by shedding blood against the pagans. They will fight alongside you for the glory of God. If it means to survive, we'll go forward. Let's go. Here. If not get that going, I cannot research anything there. Nor get anything here. Too bad. Oh. Well, still find a way, but let's go. Now we're gonna capture the last place and we're pretty much done, I think. Can't do anything else anymore. And then maybe the unknown enemy will arrive. Let's just give some more. The Cumans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. The Cumans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. The Cumans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. That's it. I won't attack the Cumans because they are all around us over here. We would have gained 25 population, but that's not much enough. Start blasting inside their gates. We're gonna need it. Hmm, he's attacking my ally. Hello. Let's see what we have here. We have sent them there and find this. Where's the rest? Oh, here. Okay, let's fire now. You have forced Novgorod's town council to depose Sviatoslav and place his brother Yaroslav in control of the city. Yeah. 
Nah, that's good news. We're done. I'll give two more of those tributes so that the game is The Cumans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. The Cumans are thankful and pledged to serve you in battle. Oh, we have given Men nothing. from the east arrived in Kiev. They claim to be ambassadors from a great Khan who has conquered Persia and Cumania. They said that if the princes of Rus served their Khan, these lands would be untouched by the Khan's hordes. Your uncle had them executed. It's a okay. Whatever comes from the east, you will not fight alone. Your allies gather their armies. They will meet you at your city. Hopefully, because we're gonna need lots of men, I'm sure. There, Hermann von Zolze. Ooh, more humans. Hopefully they will help us, all of them. Because they did help them quite a bit. I wonder how many human allies I can get. Like, we've literally given so much and we have scattered quite the a bit. The flow of human refugees from the east has slowed. Perhaps the danger has passed. That or they're gonna join them. but I can't. Well, we are sending everyone now down there so we're preparing and I see that all my allies are here at the ready. They're gonna be fighting with us. Wait, come on! Advance! The enemies are on the way, like what are you doing? They're gonna be coming from here, I'm sure. In this place around. Kind of ready already, but I don't know. Hey, there's another relic. Perfect. Let's uh, send a monk. Grab it. More money. I don't see any other bogadiers. Calling themselves Mongols, they will fall to the Rus like all the nomadic marauders who came before them. Are they gonna attack now? No, not yet. Okay. We need to watch out. We'll hold this position in this river. Or actually advance forward with our allies, which is good too. What are you doing? Attack them! Oh wait, they are. Good. The Mongols are weakened and retreats. Pursue and crush them. A great victory awaits you, Mr. Slap the Bold. There are many more Mongols than anyone could have seen. They have sprung a trap. 
нашим слугам. Да, господин. We have killed many, but there's still coming many more here, damn it. This is not good. We're gonna need reinforcements for sure. We're also looking at eye. Send forward men from these sides. So many enemies, and yet we have beaten quite a numerous amount of them. But this is still not enough. We're gonna need more. We have halted their advance a little bit, but that's not enough. I need my help on my allies, or I need to grab more men to destroy them, and I can see that they're just walking down upon us. They're not happy about this, but nor am I about their presences here. Let us kill them. I don't think this super will be happy. There. This way. Over here, or I'm gonna die out here. We are very weakened. They outnumber us ten to one. Maybe I could just guide some of them away from each other and then just pluck them out one by one. Hello, here I am. Spread them out. So let us kill them like this. Oh shit, this is not good. Not at all. Yeah, 
Any can beat them. Fight on. Withdraw and wear down the invaders. We've done our best, but I can't do more. The enemy's armies are powerful. There's so many, damn it. Some more men. Just go fall back. Don't chase him. Let them chase you. Instead. And attack these men again. That's good. But more enemies are coming. Why am I not able to kill them like these? There. We have reared them down using all that we have right now. Or even left from our town. Now that we've also kind of regrouped here a bit, we should be fine. I'll upgrade these men and then we'll be able to kill the rest of them. Only the siege town, uh, you know, buildings are left and some of their housing and all. So we have kind of won, but. The enemy is just resisting me here, thinking they can win from me here, but they're wrong, and they're gonna lose, we have more men now, kill them all. Kill them all. Let us press on now, no wait. This is just an awkward battle over here. What? These men are kind of dead here, but yeah. Kind of weird that we haven't even lost either. Like, we have lost our entire town now. Seriously, what? And why does my ally not help? Is this all the strength that it could have mustered? Damn that siege weapons also. Here. The remaining horde is dying away here. There. 
Against all odds, you have survived the invasion of the Mongols. Rus has been devastated, but from these ashes, a new authority will emerge. Rus cannot be a land of princes. It must be ruled by one man, a Tsar. Need. And we have also achieved a achievement by taking all the princes before the Mongols. But again, I find it still weird that they didn't really help me at all, so that was really annoying. Um, yeah. Prince Mstislav the Bold and the remnants of his army returned from the battle on the Kalka River, weakened and weary. As they passed the Rus cities, the church bells were silent, for all expected the Mongols would be just a day behind, bringing more death and destruction. Miraculously, no invasion came. Prince Mstislav had seen the weakness in the Rus princes, all too divided for the sake of petty squabbles to unite against so great a threat. But the fact that the Mongols did not press their advantage meant that this was a lesson that would die with Mstislav only a few years later. When Mstislav passed from illness, his relatives were not around. They were too busy fighting over his territory. The Rus princes resorted to war among one another, planting the seeds of their own destruction. There would be no second chances. The Mongols would return. They would indeed. Now, if we look at the map, we cannot really see anything else aside from these little few tribes of humans that are left and right over here. We could have taken them and, you know, destroyed them without giving much more food to them. But, you know, I was really kind to them. I really hope they would have actually tried to help me as well. Would have been nicer to see a bigger battle with all the Rus even more united and help me fight because the help that we got was not much and also look at this why did daniel romanovich literally go all the way there while well, the battle was literally just going on over here but um whatever it was rather buggy anyway we're done we're gonna be moving on to the next few campaigns because there is a very few left we have shimazu nobunaga we have fatty and constantin and even drake left so that's about five more campaigns which will continue as soon as possible but for today this is it I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and interested to support it. Do you want to recommend something or record a game together? That's possible as well. Just write it down in the comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chat about it. Till then, I shall see you all later.